the rim. The counter punch. All right, back at y'all with another radio call. You already know it's your boy, Love on the Hate One, and your boy, EBTV Sports is in the building. And we finna talk some real boxing. You already know how we get down. We finna cook. And I got an interesting subject when it comes down to Vasil Lomachenko. And you got people that's, that think that Vasil Lomachenko is overrated. Like, you know, they feel like his accomplishment. His accomplishments in the sport is a little bit far-fetched. You know, when it comes down to me, you know, I'm going to let you guys know my opinion in a minute. But when it comes down to this subject, I feel like we're going to break that down to a T. So, you know, EBT, let me know. Go ahead and set the tone, EBT. Let me know your thoughts about Lomachenko, his accomplishments, and do you think he's overrated? Do you think he's, you know, how do you feel about Lomachenko? Yo. So man, Lomachenko definitely um, one. Of the, I think he's one of the better lightweights of our recent memory. Can you hear me, bro? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you're clear. You're clear. You're clear. One, one, yeah, one of the best lightweights I've seen in my life. Um, in terms of pure skill, um, I think as time progresses, he um, it's not become overrated, but because um, he you know, he's been in with guys like. Tiffimo Lopez, Devin Haney, um, who I definitely believe he lost to both of them. But I think his skill level um, is starting to be revealed, you know. Um, but it, this is my opinion. I feel like the climate, the the attitude towards Lomachenko is starting to change and become more reflective of who he is, you know. However, if I'm wrong about that, then yes, he still is overrated because um, if people still think the way they used to think about him, like Max Kellerman, I'll never forget was comparing him to Floyd Mayweather and Sugar Ray Robinson. Okay. This is, I cannot mean to say Ali. They were putting him in like all time discussion, which is crazy. Like, that's insane. Like, if some people thought it was the same coming up to Christ. You know what I'm saying? So, in that case, people who think that way, definitely he's overrated. But I think as time progresses, you know, um, He's just talent is talent, you know. Uh, you watch Lomachenko, you you can tell hey, the man is talented. You know, he has everything in the toolbox. I've never seen anybody move like that before. You know, he, he can come at different angles, side step. Got good defense, quick hands, low power. You know, he, he's he's a almost an all around fighter. You know, there's not really many glaring weaknesses in his strength in his skills. Only that he starts late, you know, and I think that cost him that that Devin Haney fight and then that TFMO fight. But um, you know, he two wins, Jermaine Ortiz, he beat Richard Karma, he beat you know, um, Linares. That was a good win. He didn't have a, like a booming resume, you know what I'm saying? Like of of guys like EBT man. He he he. he did, listen, I'm saying like a boom, boom <laughs> resume, bro. like. It's, I'm gonna I'm wait because you got me hyped right now. You you talking your shit? Go ahead. Nah, it's 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 a solid resume. It was definitely it's gotten better. You know, no, he fought Devin Haney. No, I'm not talking and, about uh, that. But go ahead. I want to cut you off. Go ahead. My bad. Oh right, yeah. It, it, it's not like um. He finally he. I will give him his credit. He's finally fighting people that you know. Um, uh, like the fights are like, dang, who's gonna win? You know what I'm saying? Like. Tiafimo was a who's gonna win fight. Like I was kind of shaky. Like I know, but well, I thought Tiafimo was gonna win in the beginning, and people didn't believe me. Yeah, you, call, you called that. I remember, I remember that you called that. Yeah, you called there that. There you go, Tiafimo won. You know, so, um, but in Devin Haney, that was another fight. I believe he lost, but other people don't. But his resume is getting better. His resume, in my opinion, is like a B plus. You know, um, Nicholas Walters, uh, inactive when he fought him. Um, he did fight Rickendall. You know, so he has some solid names on the, on, the, on the list. You know, he ain't fight all bombs, you know, um, but is he top five pounds for power? I don't think so. But I believe you know, he is slightly, he's slightly, um, but he, he's perfectly rated now. I believe people have come to earth about him, but let's say I'm wrong. People haven't come to earth on him. They still think the same way he did thought back in the day. 
he's definitely overrated because people I'm telling you Ali Mayweather Robertson Sugar Ray Robinson Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest fighter that ever live on paper hundred man with like hundreds of fights you know but nice. come on uh, Sugar Ray Robinson uh, he had like a crazy win streak you know so he's the greatest fighter that ever lived and they were comparing him to, to Sugar Ray Robinson no joke Ali you know Max Kellerman was doing that but I think people have come to earth after them two losses. They've come to earth, you know, because he can be beaten, and that's not even debate. So oh, that's what I got, bro. Okay, <laughs> bro, you made a bro, you made some good points. But I'm gonna tell you why I agree with you. You already know how ABT. You know we ain't sensitive. We don't take nothing to heart. You already know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I agree with you. Why I don't agree with you. It's like I agree with a lot of things you said, but then I disagree with you. What some of the things you said. Okay, I'm going to tell you the part I agree with first. Number one, we all know Lomachenko. He showed up. He's not, you know, he, he's, not a, he's not a bum. You know, he, he's a good fighter and stuff like that. You gave him credit in that sense. He beat some good fighters. You said that as well. But part when I say Lomachenko might be a tad bit overrated when it comes down to the older generation. Like, you know, when you when people try to compare him to, like, say he'll be Floyd Mayweather and stuff like that. That's the part where, when I will say, you know, in that sense, he may be overrated when you guys are thinking he will beat the fighters before our generation. And that's why I do not like to compare generation to generation. Anybody that know love one and hate one, y'all know I do not like to compare generations to generations because... It, it just, he's not going to beat all those guys, you guys. You got to talk, he'll be Mayweather. The same weight class with Sugar Ray Leonard, he'll beat him. Y'all need to stop with that bullshit. And I agree with that. But here is where I have to draw the line when it comes down to Lomachenko. So let me ask you this, EBT. This is a quick question. Is Devin Haney overrated? Devin Haney? Yeah. Um... Let me think about that. Is Devin Haney overrated? No, 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 no. Okay, but that's where the con. It's a little con. It's a little contradiction there, EBT. Ow. I'm gonna tell you how because he just stopped George Kambosos with a body shot, and that's George Kambosos. I mean, not George Kambosos. That's Devin Haney claim to fame right there, and he arguably beat Devin Haney. I know a lot of people think Devin Haney. Probably won the fight, but a lot of people thought Lomachenko yeah. won that fight. So, and you just said that you think Lomachenko, I mean, you gave him his props. You, you think he, you said he's a good fighter and all that stuff, but you think he is a little overrated. But how's he overrated if he stopped a guy? But how's he overrated if he stopped a guy that Devin Haney, he walked through George Kambosos, but anybody could. I don't know if you remember or not, EBT, but we had this argument, not argument, yeah. debate a while ago. Any top lightweight beats George Kambosos. I told you that. Anybody. I don't give a fuck if it's Tank. Teal Fimo, that wasn't the best Teal Fimo. Teal Fimo just basically, he gave up that fight. He was trying to knock George Kambosos out, and he paid for it. But you got a man that arguably beat Devin Haney. And he knocked out a guy that Devin Haney went the distance with twice. Talk to me. Nah, see, here's my here's what I'm saying. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, Lomachenko. If people are being fair, it, I don't think he's overrated now. But I don't. I can. I can have like a. I don't have a good sense of how the community is or his fanboys are um, right now. But if they think the way they were thinking. Uh, like the last time I checked, like I, I can tell you, Max Kellerman compared this man to, to uh, the best fighter of all time, greatest fighter of all. And time. that's why I said Robinson. you was. That, that's, that, and that's why I said you was right. You right about that. You don't. You don't compare yeah. this nigga to that. To you know, to the to the to the old right. greats. I get that. And there were people, and he was like, uh, not take. They didn't want you to take them out of the uh, pound for pound. Right, right. you right about that. Yeah, you right. The number one pound for pound. It's like crazy talk. And yeah, I'm gonna ask you a point. You you remember they you remember they took um Loma Chico was he had one loss and they tried to make it seem like he was undefeated? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. racing stuff off I agree with you on that. That's right. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, but that's true. So my point is 
you know, like I said, I don't believe, I don't know if people still think that way now, but if they do, then in that case, he would be overrated. But I think, you know, after these two losses, you know, and um, I think he will come to earth about them because if you look at it, top pound for pounds, what they're saying, uh, Inoue, you know, they got, maybe they got Canelo on there. Usyk is number one, probably. Um, you know, they got Tank pound for pound, but they ain't got Lone Chico number one. Uh, and they're kind of being more fair, in my opinion. So, if that's, I'm thinking right now he's not overrated. But if somehow I'm wrong, right, and like, you know, let's say, I mean, we did like a poll or something and got a sense of the community and they still think the way they did think, then yes. But, Right now, I think he's he's you come to earth about him. You know, he he's a great fighter. He brings things that you know you can be honest that we've never seen before. You know, that movement is crazy. Like, right, footwork is legendary. Hand speed is legendary. Defense, but you know, I think yeah, great fighter. But I don't think he's um. I think we like I said we come to earth about him. Haney, on the other hand, Haney, we come to earth about him too. You know. Um, well, that's a different I, subject. So that's a different mean, subject, though. That's a different subject, though. Yeah, I'm just saying, because like, you, you said, uh, how is, I mean, he asked me a question, but. No, 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 I I just, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, keep going. That's why I, I just stopped you. I was just saying that, you know, that's a whole other yeah, yeah, topic. I'm not, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not getting into that, you know, totally. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, um, yeah, Andy, we, we've come to earth about Andy, too. Yeah. You know. And that's my thing when it comes down to Lomachenko. Like, if you guys compare, and that's why I think a lot, because it's not just me and you, EBT, that's talking about this. A lot of people are talking about this. Like, they feel like Lomachenko's overrated. And if you guys compare Lomachenko to the old guys, the guys that put in work before Lomachenko, then we can say you guys, he's overrated by you guys thinking that. But in today's generation, I don't think he's overrated. He has some very good wins on his resume. You know, I don't even got to go down on this resume. He arguably beat Devin Haney. He stopped George Cambosis, a guy that T.O. couldn't stop, a guy that um, Devin Haney couldn't stop. He stopped him with a body shot, too. And he a champion right now. And Lomachenko, oh, you know, uh, he's not old in, like, real life, but we all know boxing is like dog years. So when it comes down to that, it's like we have to say that, you know. It's like Lomachenko is just, he's what I call a throwback fighter. But it's like we can't compare him to the throwback fighters, if that makes any sense.